This is uh, three tight ends I'm looking to sell this week, heading into week eight. These guys, I don't think they're going to do much the rest of the way, or maybe someone's going to overvalue them and should get decent trade price for them. And the first guy I'm looking to trade here at the tight end position is Robert Tanyan. I said it again last week, look to sell this guy off, and once again, he came up short. He only had five points. It was the Devontae Adams show. Satanya and his game was fluky one that Monday night versus that bad Atlanta defense in week four. And now the last two games since Adams came back, he's only got 10 fantasy points. Rodgers, you know he's going to look for Adams. That's his man. He's got Aaron Jones and Williams. He looks for out of the backfield too. Satanya, if you could get even something for him, man, tra trade him because this guy... I say in two, three weeks, he's going to be droppable. He's already been dropped in 4% of leagues. But teams were running out there to the wire after that blow-up game in week four to get him. But now I'm telling you to sell him off and try to get, I don't know, whatever you could get for him. The second guy I'm looking to trade off at the tight end position heading into week eight is Mike Gusecki. I had him as a drop candidate. But if you could get something for him in a trade, you do that also. Because he's just not going to do much with Tua on the center. Even with uh, Fitzpatrick, he disappeared in a few games this year with piss poor performances. Like in week six versus the Jets, this guy had no fantasy points and only two targets. And I'm going to expect more of the same from Gusecki with Tua on the center. And especially this week versus a tough Ram defense that doesn't give up much in the air. So, Mike Gusecki, 65% owned. That number should go down, but if there's an owner desperate and they like Gusecki out there in your league, try to trade him for a low two back or something. Just get something for this guy because his numbers and his target range is going to go down also as the weeks go on. And the third guy I'm looking to trade is Jared Cook of the New Orleans Saints. Came off a nice performance, 32 yards and a touchdown, but he only had... Three targets, and the thing is, Michael Thomas and Sanders were out in this game. You would think Cook would have got the ball more, but he didn't. So that touchdown saved his fantasy day. So Cook, I don't know what you could get out there for him, but I would look to trade him, Cook. A lot of teams are rostering him. He's 84% owned in league, so it's not like he's a total guy that no one wants any part of. So Jared Cook, yeah, go out there and try to trade him. I think you can find better options on the waiver wire for more production and more targets. Because once Thomas and Sanders comes back, like I said, the work's not going to be there for Cook. So that's, so that's three tight ends I'm going to try to sell this week heading into week eight of the fantasy football season.